I'm a blue belt that weighs 150 pounds, and today I'm rolling with Kevin, a 300 pound purple belt, in the ultimate battle of speed versus strength. I start up the roll by grabbing a shoulder crunch and attempting to sweep him over, but it doesn't work. And things start going wrong. It starts looking like he's gonna get past my legs, which is the last thing you want against someone bigger. I lock my legs together as I try to think of what to do. I decide to come up to my knees, and luckily, I'm able to slip out. Kevin underhooks my leg. I turn away, but he falls back for a leg lock. I feel the pressure on my knee, so I tap. We reset, and I get the opportunity to come on top. It's always great to be on top against bigger people because you don't need to carry their weight. He starts going for a double leg, but since he can't come up to his knees, I'm able to just bring my hips forward and transition to mount. This was my chance to even the score, or so I thought. He goes for an Ezekiel choke. I try using my leg to staple his arm, but he just underhooks it and stands up. Bruh. Once again, I start on top. My goal this time was to not get rolled over. I go for a knee slice and I'm able to come around his guard and go neon belly, and then mount. I pin his arm to the mat, threaten an arm bar, then get an underhook. I start going for a spinning arm bar, but he underhooks my leg and locks his hands together. I base to make sure not to get rolled over. But as I go neon belly, my spine flexibility really gets tested, and he rolls me over and comes on top. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. I make sure to strip his underhook so I don't get leg locked again. Now I'm on bottom, and I have to figure out a way to sweep him and get on top, which is no easy task. One of my favorite attacks involves me connecting my hands behind my opponent's back from Butterfly, but I'm not able to connect my hands around Kevin, and I start getting smashed. Once again, it looked like I was about to get past, but luckily, I'm able to get my knees inside. Nope. I'm not able to connect my hands around his back, He's able to just posture out of my triangle attempts. So I start realizing that the arm drag is probably the way to go. I hit an arm drag, and as he brings his back to the mat, I come on top, and I start working to pass his legs. When I hit arm drags, I like to push my opponent's knee to off-balance them, as I drag the arm across and scoot towards their back. But here, Kevin brings his back to the mat and avoids the back take. I try knee slicing, but Kevin pushes my knee away. Now I'm in his half guard. I try to stay tight, but he frames me away. I see an opening for an underhook, so I grab it and go for another knee slice. I push his head down and step over for an armbar. Usually me falling back causes them to fall back with me, but he's able to stay turned away from me, which makes it hard for me to finish the armbar. He comes up to his knees and I say screw it, and I try going over the top for an armbar. But I just fall off. It was hard to find any openings against Kevin. He's being pretty cautious. It looked like I might not be able to sub him back, but I just keep trying to make something work. I keep trying to go for those arm drags. He tries arm dragging me, but I arm drag him back. And this time, I'm able to latch onto his back. He grabs my wrist with both his hands. This gets me scared because he could use this grip to bring my arm around his head and escape. So I strip his hand off, but while I'm focused on the upper body, he clears my bottom hook and starts escaping. So I switch to an armbar. One thing about the armbar is that it leaves you vulnerable to getting stacked, which is the last thing you want against someone bigger than you. So I grab his leg to prevent this. I throw my leg over to hit a grip break, but his grip stays solid and his leg slips. I push into him to stop him from getting up, and in this moment I realize I can go for the Trigo Plata which is basically a fancy kind of shoulder lock. Now, I probably should have stuck to the fundamentals since I'm at such a size disadvantage, but the urge to flex overwhelmed me. No! Kevin turns into me hard and escapes, to no one's surprise, but I see an opening for his back, so I literally slide behind him. I come up to my feet and I throw in a hook, but he's able to remove it. So I use my other leg instead, but this small detail is where I messed up. My underhook and my hook were on the same side of his body, meaning I didn't have any control of his right side. So he's able to just shake me off of him. 
That was my role with Kevin. Rolling with bigger people is always interesting because they can punish you for the littlest mistakes, which forces you to be more technical. I'll catch you next time. Peace.